What's going on, LA Live Gang? This is your boy AC, and I'm back with another edition of LA Sports Live. You guys see that thumbnail, you see the title. Not necessarily good news for the Lakers, but I, I'm pretty sure we'll figure it out. Um, we get the news yesterday, J Kid announced as a new head coach for the Dallas Mavericks. And one of the fortunate things that happens when the, when a team enjoys a certain level of success, like the Lakers did last year, they won the world championship. Uh, usually things like this happen where their uh, coaching staffs get uh, poached. Uh, the Lakers survived last season, um, and that was partly because the, the quick turnaround and their coaches were on staff uh Longer than anybody else the, the, Their staff in the Miami Heat Otherwise, anyway So nobody got poached from the Lakers uh, Coaching staff last season But this season, of course J. Kidd is going to the Dallas Mavericks So now J. Kidd is putting Together his uh, Coaching staff And uh, he's expected to, to take one or two Members of the current Lakers coaching staff With him uh, The Lakers coaching staff, of course, is made up Of uh, what it was Head coach Frank Vogel, Jason Kidd, Lionel Hollins, um, uh, Coach Phil Handy, uh, Miles Simon, who was the lone holdover from Luke Walton's staff, and uh, shooting coach Mike Pemberthy, uh, formerly of the New Orleans Pe Pelicans, when he is actually a former Laker himself, and uh, Quentin Craw Crawford, who is actually a uh, uh, I believe he either played and or coached with Coach Vogel in the past down in Orlando. So that's 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 the uh, the coaching staff. And uh, like I said, I wouldn't be surprised if Jay Kidd took at least one or two of these guys with him. And that's what they, people usually do. They're going to take people who they're uh, comfortable and familiar with. Um, I would expect, you know, unless Jay Kidd just asks him, I would expect Miles Simon uh, to stay with the Lakers because He's a LA and West Coast guy, and he's the one holdover from, um, like I said, Luke Walton's staff. So he has a certain amount of uh, loyalty to the Lakers, um, and you know, so I think he will stay. I would like to see him stay, and I definitely would like to see Coach Phil Handy stay. Uh, the other guys, you know, they're kind of interchangeable. Um, you know, we can find another shooting coach, and you know. We, Whatever we can find another veteran coach like Lionel Hollins, but anyway, this is the way it goes. There's going to be changes, a lot of turnover, a lot of changes to be made. But look, look on the bright side of it. Like I said before, a lot of people uh, had issues with the Lakers' offense. So with the exit of Kid, you might, you know, the Lakers might um, bring in one or two other coaches who might make a difference. Uh, for the Lakers offensively speaking So you never know When one door closes another one opens up So we'll see how it goes Anyhow guys stay tuned for the latest news It's going to be a big 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 Off season for the Lakers It's going to be pretty, pretty, uh, pr a pretty nice amount of news Breaking news jumping off So keep it here with LA Sports Live I'm going to bring you all the Laker news Off season During season whatever it is You're only going to catch it here with your boy AC LA Sports Live. Anyhow, I'm out of here. Wrap with y'all later.